What is up, everybody? This is your host, Superset. Now, I should have made this video a, a while, like, earlier today, because I thought of it earlier today. But anyway, comments... Oh, put it here. Comments, Fortly, and Spam. And how do they interlink? Anyway, I'm going to show you that in this video. So, I don't even know if this was going to be a Fortly video or not. But anyway, there we go. It's it, I, I, it's more like daily. It's not really for, for you know, get it? For, nah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay, so, here we go. This here is it. And... On the comment section, there's another section. There's two. There's three sections. There's publish, held for review, and likely spam. So I think if is it moderators flag them or something, they go to held to for review and then likely spam. Now likely spam has been filling up recently, and so oh yeah, is, is it just me? Is it just me? Or does this this icon right here? When I saw it just about a minute, like well, like less than a minute ago before I started this, it, I thought it looked like the old Instagram logo. And it just tricked me again when I looked at it again. It, it, like, instinctively, when I sort of look at it, like, past it, it, like, is, like, is, is it a dog? I think it's a dog. But it was, like, you know the old Instagram logo? Oh, it so reminded me of that. And this comment here reminded me of the district guy from District 9. I take it that that's a Hunger Games reference. I'm going to look that up afterwards at District 9. I, I can't remember which one he was in that, but <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Anyway, let's go to the likely spam section. So this here is supposed to be the section where comments that are spam get put. Now often it does it does get it right and that and but often well I don't I don't know I'd say I'd say it gets it right about fifty percent of the time. Well, there's comments that are spam that get in the published published section, and then there's comments that aren't spam that get in the likely spam. But I think I'd say I'd say overall it does a good job in in a sense because I mean I'd say maybe. Maybe 50% of it, 50% of the comments that end up in likely spam are not likely spam, which is a pretty bad rate of hitting them. But I'd rather it get, I mean, I'd rather it there be that section and it gets them. I just, the problem is I forget to approve them. So I only check it like, let's say every two weeks or something. And then I approve them in that. But then the, the published list is chronological and then... It means that then I don't end up responding to them because if I scroll down and there's one from like four weeks ago and I or two weeks ago and I approve it, then published wise it's miles down the list. Well, I do answer most of the comments in that, but there's also like a lot that I don't answer in a sense of we because if we go to publish in that, so I've answered all these ones here. So back here, for example, from this point, so I haven't answered these ones or that one or that one or that one and and so on in that. So and it gets down the list a bit. Although I do answer, I haven't answered these ones here today. So, for example, there's sub for sub, and likely spam, there we go, sub to my channel, you know, probably the word sub triggers it, although, I think, don't go, I know, I'm almost certain, there was, there was two, which made me think that they must, like, give, like, you know, there was this thing called the P-score that they gave, uh, what was it, oh, there was another thing I was going to mention as well, that they gave to any, certain channels in there, but I noticed, the, I think there was two comments that were identical, two different people said the same comment, and one of them ended up in likely spam, uh, this was on a Yanny Laurel video a long time ago on that, and anyway, I was, I was like, oh, that's really interesting, because I think they commented something that so many other people had commented as well, so I thought perhaps people were giving like a rating between, and, and you know, when you can like or dislike a comment, I thought maybe if they get so many dislikes on their comments in that, it then, but I, I, the thing is, since YouTube doesn't say what the disliking a comment thing does, then people don't really know it, and I, 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 I never dislike comments, and I take it that most people, I don't know, because if you don't know what it does, then you think, well, there's no point disliking it. But, and so, because if, the, if, they, if they, you are told, disli like, they say, they, you know, said, please dislike comments you don't like, or content. But then again, if it's, if it's, you know, don't like, and then comments that, like, actually need to be reported in that, I don't, I don't see what the dislike thing does. And if you don't know, then that would, like, if, for, I don't know, because, do you dislike comments? That's an interesting question. And please do answer, do you dislike them in that? Because, I don't know, because anyway, I was wondering, how does it give people, does it, does it like, rate people with, oh, uh, trap nape, uh, to, with, with it, give these people, like, rate people with these, sorry, uh, so it gives people ratings based on, I don't know what though, is it on how many of their comments have been deleted from people's channels or reported or how many channels they've been, it'd be fascinating to know what is the the channel that's been banned on the most different channels in that, you know, and I think because at one point they said that Justin Bieber's song Baby had the most false reports, but they said of course no amount of, uh, no, I mean most amount of reports on it, which are obviously false, no amount of reporting Justin Bieber's Baby video is going to get it removed in that, but yeah, but the, the fact that the same comment I can't 
absolutely prove it, or, or no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it happened, and that this, someone commented the same comment on two different, oh man, I'm just getting a bit <laughs> overwhelmed here, uh, on two different, I'm just, on, on, you know, two people commented the same comment, and one of them was published and fine, and one of them ended up in likely spam, which made me assume that they must give ratings secretly to people as to how, like, trustworthy it trusts their comments and that, and some people are therefore likely to have their comments, more likely to have their comments end up in likely spam, and that versus some people aren't. So I wonder what they're basing that rating on as to what to, like, rank people in terms of whether they, like, their, their comments always are published, like, the almost always their comments are fine, or some of them just err towards likely spam, if that's because people dislike their comments, or what it is. Anyway, as you can see, so there's a lot of sub-ones in that, but for example, good information, that is obviously not spam, and this one here, yeah, I don't know, because they've commented, I, well, I'm just going to check something, I'm just going to check something, copy, if I go to here, because they've commented very similar things before, and so if I go like this, and see if they've commented that exact phrase before or not, oh, with the thing there, have they commented, oh, with hearts, Okay, the so they haven't commented that specific thing, but these com none of the other comments, this one and this one and this one and this one, none of them ended up in spam. Yet a virtually identical comment with just that at the end of it, or three hearts, did not uh, did not end up. But you think uh, with three emojis, emojis you think are more likely to end up in spam. But it's weird. I don't do. You, do you find that strange? This comment here, great video, keep it up, heart, heart, heart does not end up in spam, but just great video, keep it up. So does that mean comments that are shorter are more likely to end up in spam? I don't I don't know what that means, but to me it's like, what the heck? Like, this thing here, adding that means it's not in spam, but if you don't have that, it ends up likely in spam. Like, to me it does like, what? Like, that's crazy. I, I don't know what's triggering that to be in spam, and what's not. And, for ticks! No! You're joking me! Vortex! I haven't heard of Vortex! What an honor! What an honor! When I'm looking for pals, I should just, when I'm looking for new people that really like my content, I should just check in, in the likely spam section there. Okay, Vortex! Oh, wait! Oh, oh, the, the, oh it's Vortex now! Okay, so it's Fortly. Fortly is, it's got a new name. There used to be something called Fort something else, and so now the Fortly, and now the Vortex! So, there we go, the, the, the leaps and bounds are here, and loved it, and I mean, and I mean, like, I, I, I hate to break to you, Vortex, but to be honest, that is where your comments belong, so actually the system is doing a good job and picking them up and putting them there, but no, 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 but here, no, 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 this is, well, this is kind of proof to what I said earlier, but not exactly, this same comment loved it, that comment ends up in the likely spam, yet the other comment loved it, did not end up in spam, it is the exact same comment, and I don't know what, and I think it was on separate videos, I, I'm not 100% sure, and it, on, on some it ends up in spam and others it doesn't, it's like, what? And then there's the SDA in that, which, I, I mean, I guess it's kind of looks a little bit spammy, but this dude is not spam, I can tell you that, he's, he's told me a lot about the bots and that, so, you know, and his, his, some of his ones have, see this one here has ended up in spam, thank you so much has ended up in spam, does this really work? That spam. I think if they space it, it seems to be putting them in spam. They've got like, how did, how does that add a public comment? Oh, oh yeah, he got the joke. See, and this is just put in spam. And there's a lot of them that get put in spam, which, yeah, I, yeah, like, yeah, well, dot. I mean, I comment dot sometimes, you know, and uh, this one here. Yeah, it's, it's put a lot of, so there's, there's heaps of them, and I, I'll go through, like, after this, and I'll approve them as not spam and that. So, you know, there's, there's, but there's heaps of, like, non-bot comments that end up in spam. Obviously, some do end up in spam, which they're supposed to end up in spam, but some of them don't. There's other things I was going to mention in this video, but I've already forgot. Maybe when I premiere it, I'll think about it. You know, good information, thanks. You know, I, I will go through afterwards, and I'll approve the different comments that are not supposed to be there and that. Yeah, oh man, I, I, I've sort of lost my trail of thought in that, you know, oh yeah, there's so much I was going to say, I should, I should, I need to do videos when I think of them, because I, I just lose the inspiration, I lose the thought trail, it just sort of ruins it when I release it, because it's just sort of like, a, oh, what was I going to say kind of thing, and I, I had it, I had this, I had it all, uh, now it's just gone, all this stuff I was going to mention about the fact that it's in there. Ah, oh, and just all the banter with Fortly, I've already forgotten what I was going to say as well with that. Oh, that's really, that's really annoying. It's so annoying. Anyway, so that, I just sort of mentioned a few different things regarding the likely spam section and that. 
which has been increasing. It used to, uh, for ages it was like below 100 and that. I never, I never just, I just keep the ones in, in likely spam. I wouldn't delete them out of likely spam. I don't think. Maybe at the start I did a couple, but normally I just leave them in likely spam. So then they don't show up. If they're in here, they don't show up on the other one and that. But yeah, it's interesting how some end up in, in likely spam and some don't, considering it's the exact same comment in some situations and that. You know. But yeah, anyway, that was, there we go. See, like, that is definitely not spam. But they end up in spam, and then I don't see them till ages later. But, yeah, ah, I've gotten... It's really annoying. I've lost my trail of thought. But that that's likely spam. And, yeah, there's, there's four, four, le four texts now. So, anyway, that's going to wrap up this video, which is just... I just ended it, like, just a train wreck of an ending, because I forgot what I was going to say about it. Anyway, see you next time. Goodbye for now.